Hello, good evening. Good, good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening, Tatiana. How are you today? Fine. Okay, amazing. I'm really good. Happy to see you today. <laughs> okay, we're going to start in a minute, right? Vamos a esperar un momento mientras se agreguen los demás. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Good evening. Good evening. How are you, Jorge? Fine, fine. Okay, that's good. Amazing. <laughs> good evening. How are you, Marvin? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. Okay. Okay, students, that's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's real love, right? <laughs> Amazing, Tatiana. Hey, I'm being a look at in a class. <laughs> no problem. Don't worry. Okay. ¿Se recuerdan que vimos ayer, chicas? Yes. How much? How many? Okay. Countable and uncountable nouns. How many and how much, right? Yeah, that's good. Okay, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, that's good. Uh, did you remember, a student, that yesterday class we were talking about how much and how many, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, when we are going to use how much? When? Non-countable. Okay, non-countable noun. Thank you, Tatiana. Really good. Okay, how much? Uh, when you want to ask something that we cannot count, right? For example, sugar. What else? Right. Yeah. Right. Water. Water. Yes, all right. Yeah, really yeah. good. Yeah, amazing. Okay, good evening, Carlos. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Yes. Very good. Okay, that's good. Amazing. Okay. Good evening, Miguel. How are you today? I'm fine. Very well. Okay. Okay, Jose Angel, how are you today? Fine. Okay, okay, that's good. Amazing. Okay. Okay, really good. Thanks. Okay, Miguel Crespin, please uh, put your full name. Hi. Hey, everybody. Okay, Miguel Crespin, uh, what's your full name? ¿Cuál es su nombre completo? Yes, yes, my name is Miguel Angel Alexander López Crespin. Ah, okay, okay, you're really good. Okay, if you can write your uh, full name, it will be okay, right? Okay, uh, yesterday I did it. Yeah, yeah, but now I don't know why that's happened the same. Eh, lo mismo me pasó, oh, okay. I'm going to write it again. <laughs> Tenemos oh, que okay. Right? Quizás va a ser tarea. Okay. okay, give me a minute. Okay, really good. Okay, here we go, students. Okay, um, time time is you know we're gonna start with today class right now, and uh, we're gonna start with a warm up activity, right? Okay, everybody can see the slide presentation. Yep. 
Yes. 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 Amazing. Okay. That's good. Okay. Uh, Enrique, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? What? How are you today? Fine, thank you. Are you? Okay, okay, that's good. I'm really good. <laughs> okay, good evening, Clarissa. How are you today? Clarissa, how are you? Okay. Okay, students, uh, we're going to start with the warm up activity, right? And uh, yesterday class, we were talking about uh, nouns, right? Nouns. What is nouns in Spanish? Nombres. Okay, nombres de cosa, de cualquier cosa, right? And in this case, we, we were talking about countable and uncountable. Countable and uncountable. Okay, este era los que se podían? Contar. Yeah, yeah, really good. In this one? Los que no se podían contar. Okay, thank you, Miguel. Los que se podían contar, los que no se podían contar. Really good. Okay, <laughs> enjoy your dinner, Miguel. <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, students, uh, we're gonna use for countable nouns, how many, right? How many, how many? And for uncountable nouns, we're gonna use how much. Para los que se pueden contar, se va a utilizar how many. Cuando nosotros preguntamos, ¿sí? Algo, exclusivamente ahí. Luego acá, uncountable, how much? Eso lo vimos ayer, this is a feedback. But now you have to identify according to the picture, if you have a countable or an uncountable noun. And also you have to build a sentence and a question. Notense bien lo que van a hacer. Van a hacer una oración y una pregunta con esto, que ya lo vimos el día de ayer, right? Eh, how come? Ya voy a explicarlo, así que don't worry, right? Okay, eh, Rodrigo, good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, teacher. Okay, that's good, amazing. Clarissa, I'm glad to see you today. How are you? Hi, I'm fine, thanks. Okay, okay, good. good. Okay, okay, students, uh, the warm up activity is going to be like this. Uh, aquí va a aparecer una imagen y ustedes me tienen que decir una oración. Primero, si es contable o no contable, y luego vamos a formular una pregunta con how many or how much, right? Eh, voy a comenzar yo para que ustedes puedan ver the example, right? I'm going to model the example. Let's see, what is this? Sugar. Sugar. Sugar or salt? <laughs> Sugar, right? <laughs> uh, sugar. Sugar. Okay, that's good, sugar. sugar. Okay, this is countable or uncountable? Uncountable. Uncountable, yeah, really good, because we got a lot of range, right? Okay, uh, we're gonna build a sentence and a question. How come? Let's see an example. Uh, questions, how much sugar do you want? How much sugar do you want? Por qué utilizamos how much? Cuánta, cuánta, cuánta. Entonces acá ¿qué, qué, qué dice esta pregunta? How much sugar do you want? Cuánta azúcar necesito? Yeah, really good. Okay, students, uh, the sentence would be not too much sugar in my coffee, please. Right? Not too much. Not too much. ¿Cuánta azúcar quieres? No mucha azúcar en mi café. Yeah, yeah, really good. No mucha azúcar. Ok, es un poquito lo que necesita. Muy bien, really good. Eh, en esta forma vamos a ir, van a ir apareciendo some pictures here. And you have to build a question and a sentence, right? Ok, okay ready? Yeah. Ready. Yeah, really good. Ok, amazing. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, eh, vamos a empezar con la primera, así que necesito un volunteer. Okay, here we go.
what is this? Money. 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 Okay, who wants to make a, a question with this? Uncountable. Uncountable, really good. Try to build a question. Question like this. Uh -huh. Okay. Who wants to try it? Okay, okay, students. Hello. Hello. Uh, what's going on? Something happened when Fabricio, Fabricio, uh, you know, entered to our class. Okay, that's good. Okay, I, I think I got a internet problem, right? Uh, we're gonna continue with our warm up activity. Okay, Fabricio, good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good. Okay, that's good, amazing. Uh, William, Alexander, Martinez, how are you today? Okay, William, yeah, yeah. How are you, William? Fine. <laughs> okay, okay, that's good, amazing. Uh, okay, Wendy Bonilla, how are you today? Are you there? I think so. Wendy? I'm fine. Okay, okay, that's good, amazing. Hey, Wendy, uh, if you can turn on the webcam, it's gonna be great, right? Va a ser Thank genial. you. Okay, encienda la webcam para que podamos interactuar de una mejor manera. Okay. okay. Ahí está. Thank you, Wendy, really good. Okay, students, uh, continue talking uh, about what? <laughs> Estábamos en una actividad de uh, warm-up activity, right? Okay, give me a minute, please. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let me see. Okay, students, uh, well, we were talking about sugar, right? Then the example, and now we're gonna have money, money. Okay, we're gonna have money. Okay, let's see, students. Please build a question with this now. How much money do you have? Okay, really good. Thank you, Marvin. Okay, and the possible answer will be, or the sentence. Okay, <laughs> don't be shy, you can do it. The question, it's really, really okay, right? Uh, how much money do you have or do you want, whatever? And the sentence, eh, hagamos una oración con esto. With this, with an uncountable noun, money. Uh, I have $10. Okay, really good, really good, nice. Thank you, Gabriela. <laughs> really nice. Okay. So I have money. Uh -huh. Okay. Little money. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're going to continue with this activity. Ahora, Marvin, Ernesto, please, can you choose a name of your classmate, please? Choose a name. I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, can you choose a name of your classmate for the next example? Elígeme un nombre ahí de cualquiera de sus compañeros. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, let me see. Um, veamos, eh, Carlos Alvarado. Carlos Alfonso Alvarado. Okay, Carlos. Okay. okay. You are sorry, Carlos. Okay, here we go. Okay, Carlos, le tocó acá this one. What is this? It's low. Low, really good, nice. Okay. Uh, the question could be with how many or how much? 
is este how much how much right Ahí when you how ask much? your lady or your wife i don't know <laughs> is question is is how much how much load you you have okay Okay. In your family. <laughs> it's amazing. In this sentence, ¿cómo podría ser una oración utilizando el love? I. Is, uh -huh. I have very low. Okay. I have. I have very low. In my family. Okay, I have too much love in my too family. Too much. Yeah, yeah, really good, like this. Very nice, Carlos. Okay, solo porque lo hizo muy bien va a elegir a una lady ahí. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Is, uh, Tatiana Torres. Okay, Tatiana. Hello. Ah, yeah, Tatiana. Okay, hello, Tatiana. Look at the picture, right? What is this? Water. Okay, water. It could be water, really good. Okay, now please, uh, what are you gonna use? How much or how many? How much? How much? Try to build a question. How much water um, do you, do you drink? Okay, yeah, really good. Thank you, Tatiana. Nice, how much water do you drink? Okay, that's an interesting question, right? Okay, the possible answer or sentence could be, Tatiana? Uh, I, I drink yeah. uh, two, two glass, too much glass. Okay, uh, in that way, Tatiana, you are counting the glass, right? In ese caso, si iba a contar los glass vasos, así que solo nos quedamos with two glass. Glass, two of, glass. Ah. Of? Match, glass, uh, drink. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, two glass of? Of? The liquid. Of water. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really good, like this. <laughs> okay, thank you, Tatiana, really good. Okay, Tatiana, choose, um, you know, one of your classmates. Uh, Marvin Ernesto. Okay, Marvin, okay, let me see. Okay, Marvin, are you there? Yeah, yeah. Um, Marvin es suertudo, Marvin, elíjame a alguien más. Marvin ya, ya nos ayudó ahí. Ok. Um... Ay, que se la él, la veo. <laughs> ok, no problem. Vamos a elegir a um, Wendy Bonilla. Ok, Wendy. Yeah. Ok, Wendy, ready? I think so. Wendy Bonilla. Let me ver Wendy Bonilla. Ah, yeah. Okay, okay I, I see you right now. Okay. <clears throat> okay, Wendy Bonilla. Imagine mm -hmm. a, you're going to have a bottle of water. Ya hablamos del agua, pero en este caso okay. va a ser bottle of water. Eh, ¿Cuál va a utilizar? How many or how much? Water in. ¿Y qué dijo que vamos a ocupar el otro? Casi no lo escuché. Ok, Wendy, eh, tenemos this one. And how ok. Much, how mm -hmm. much? Es para lo que son contable. Y how much ah. para lo que no se puede contar. Pero si nosotros mm -hmm. estamos hablando de a bottle of water, a bottle of water, es, en, es similar a este, este es alcohol en gel, pero digamos que, es, que fuese agua. A bottle of water. Eh, entonces, en este caso, va a ser how much or how many? How, much? how many? How many, right? Yeah, really good. Nice. Amazing. Thank you, Wendy. 
con Wendy hasta aquí nos quedamos, así que vamos genial. Ok, chicos, uh, now I think that you understand how to use countable and uncountable now. I don't know if you have a question about this. Questions? No question. Question, please. Okay, okay, really good. We're gonna continue with this because of the time. And right now we're gonna go back to the attendant list. Se recuerda que vamos a pasar lista, así que here we go. Antes de pasar lista, eh, para los que no estuvieron ayer, eh, we got some students obligation, respeto mutuo, cooperación, cámara encendida, así que I'm sorry. Eh, vamos a tener que ver. Eso es genial, así que please turn on the webcam. Eh, hay que desarrollar las tareas. ¿Hicieron la tarea de ayer? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Eh, todos sacaron 10, ¿verdad? Right? Yeah. <laughs> ok. Eh, en las notas, chicos, eh, se van a realizar diarias, semanales. Va a haber un meter exam. Que es de lo mismo que vamos a estar viendo. Así que don't worry. Es importante que ustedes tengan el eh, to send up el 80% hacia arriba. Eh, también hay que eh, ingresar a una discusión por día, ¿verdad? Right? Eh, ahora ya les vamos a explicar cómo es eso y la asistencia. Y el miércoles recordarle que tenemos la clase de apoyo. Ahí les va a caer a su correo o al por, you know, your WhatsApp. Eh, la, los 10 minutitos a qué hora les va a tocar la clase de refuerzo. Right. Así que pay attention to that. Will be eh, el miércoles from 10 to 11, right? Okay, really good. Right now, we're going to go back to the attendance list. Así que please pay full attention to this. Eh, when I say your name, please say presente. Or I, am, I am here, teacher. Whatever you want. Right? Okay. Ok, ok chicos, aquí está. <coughs> Let's see. Y si ustedes ven un cero es porque no estaban en clase. Si tienen un uno, sí estaban. Así que cero es no vino y uno sí estuvo presente, right? Ok, here we go. Okay. Jaime Ernesto Hernández Navarrete. No. It's not there. Ok. Ok, here we go. I'm sorry. Ok, uh, José Vladimir Jiménez Escobar. Ok. Sorry for that. Ben Elvis, Carlos Enrique Martínez. Presente. Ok. Really good. Thank you, sir. Presente. Yeah, really nice. Eh, ok, eh, with Wendy, ayer tenía problemas de conexión por la, you know, the storm, right? Por la tormenta. Yes. Así yes. que eh, acá tiene la notita, así que no hay problema. Eh, vamos a continuar. José Ángel Santos Martínez. Ok, really good. Thank you, sir. Ok, Gabriela Merari Zamora Orellana. Present. Ok, muy bien. Eh, Jorge Alberto Ortiz Molina. Presente. Yeah, really nice. Ok, eh, Carlos Alfonso Alvarado. Presente. Yeah, cool. Fernando de Jesús Rodrigo Torres. Fernando, ok, Fernando es not here. Ok, si se si, si ingresa más tarde, vamos a pasar otra vez la lista, chicos. Eh, así que veamos Carlos Antonio Mejía Hernández. Ok. Eh, William Alexander Martínez. Ok, that's good. Miguel Ángel Alexander López Crespín. Presente. Hey, congratulations. 
eh, Marlon Ernesto Rodríguez Sandoval. Present teacher. Okay, really good. Uh, Rodrigo Alexander Maravilla Vázquez. Presente. Yeah, nice. <laughs> ok, here we go. Clarisa Yamilet. Present. Nice, congratulations. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos. Daisy. Ok. Ok, Tatiana Ivonne Torres. I am here, teacher. Ok, congratulations, Tatiana. Marvin Ernesto Alfaro Campos. I'm here, teacher. Ok, thank you, sir. Carlos René Herrera. Carlos René Herrera. No, right. Ok. And Fabricio Alexander Jiménez. I'm here, teacher. Ok, thank you. Really good. Congratulations. Ok, students. Uh, after this, we're going to continue with today's class. Ok, give me a minute. And we're going to go back to this live presentation, right? Ok, here we go. Ok, uh, we're going to continue with unit number one. And today's topic will be Somebody who help me to read it, please. Uh, Rodrigo, read the topic. Have for obligation. Okay, really good. Today class, we're gonna see have for obligation. When to use have, when we have to do something, right, that somebody asking us. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got the lesson objective for today class. And we're gonna see the specific objectives and we're gonna have the class objectives. Okay, uh, let me see. Yeah. Okay, okay, really good. Yep, uh, who wants to read the specific one? Okay, go ahead, go ahead, William, thank you. Uh, participant will be able to give instructions about how some products have, have to be handled and stored. Okay, thank you, William. Really good, really good. Thank you, sir. Okay, students, so all the time, as you see, you're going to watch this. We'll be able to, we'll be able to. Aprendanse esta expresión muy útil. Eh, ¿Qué significa, Fabricio? We'll be able to. Uh, <laughs> will, will es el, el futuro. Uh, yeah. Estar atento. Uh, uh, okay, okay. More or less, will be able to. Es, serán capaces de. Serán capaces de. Okay. Thanks, okay. Thank teacher. Okay, really good. You're welcome in handle, students. Somebody have an idea what does it mean, handle? Handle. No? You get an idea? Manip manipular. Eh. Okay. Manipular. Okay, thank you, Carlos. A handle es como manipular o manejar, pero no manejar un carro, sino manejar un objeto de un lugar a otro, right? Yep. Encargarse. Yeah, yeah, really good. Okay, uh, we're going to continue with the class object. I need to read this one. Volunteer. Okay, Gabriela, thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Okay, students, who wants to read the class objectives? A volunteer? Okay, go ahead, Marvin. Thank you. A class objective. Yeah. At the end of class, participants will be able to know of the use, how for obligation. Okay, yeah, really good. Thank you, sir. Okay, in this case, student, yeah, Wendy, you got a question? No, no, no. Okay, really good. Okay, basically, uh, at the end of the class, you're going to be able to use 
have for obligation. Okay, ya vamos a ver cómo se usa eso. Let's see. Uh, we're going to have a useful sentence that we're going to use during the class. So we get it this. How do you say this one? Yeah. Wendy? Es diseñar. Okay, diseñar in English. What, what does it mean? Design. 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 Okay, mm -hmm. okay yeah, design. Design, really good. Okay, we're gonna continue with this one. What is this? Warehouse. 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 What does it mean in Spanish? Bodega. Hey, nice. Congratulations. You did it really good. Almacén o bodega. Uh -huh. Almacén o bodega. Nice. Congratulations. Okay, warehouse, right? Warehouse. Okay, this you're gonna say design warehouse. Okay, continue with this. How do you say this one in English? Pile up. Pile up. Yeah, yeah, pile up. Se escucha chistoso, pero no es la ahí, right? El recipiente. Okay, pile up, right? What does it mean, pile up? Como amontonar. Apilar. Desorden, ajá. Yeah, really good. Wendy and Carlos, really nice. Apilar o embarbar. Yep. Okay, nice. Congratulations. Like this. Apilar. Una cosa encima de otra ordenadamente. Really, really good. Then we're going to have this. What is this? Sign. Sign. Thank you, sign. What does it mean, sign? Firmar. Firmar. Firmar, really good. Firmar. Firmar, right? Tu firma ahí, como está en el DUI, nada, que lo van a hacer así de otra forma. Ok, really good. Ok, students, uh, we're going to uh, make, uh, we're going to say this word again, design, design. Design, yes, warehouse. Design. Warehouse. Warehouse. Ok, pile up. Pile up. Oh, pile up. Pile up. Pile up. Pile up. Yeah, yeah. no pile up. Pile up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not something else. Pile up. Yeah, yeah. Really. Sign. 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 Yeah, sign. Okay. Really good. We're going to continue with this. I don't know if somebody have a problem with one of these word problems in pronunciations. No. Yeah. Yes or not. No, right? Okay, very good. No problem. Okay, nice, thank you. Okay, students, we're gonna practice together. Uh, yesterday class, se nos quedó pendiente this exercise, right? Uh, how much and how many? How much se iba a utilizar para los que son? Los contables. Contable. And how many para los que sí? Son contables. Congratulations. Excellent. Okay, let's see, students. You, you're going to complete the following question using how much and how many. Let's see this example. We're going to start with Rodrigo. Rodrigo, in this case, uh, which, or which one of these you can use for the first one? How much or how many? How many? How many? Okay, are you sure? No. I'm sure. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's see. How many? How many or how much? How much? How much? <laughs> Why? How much? ¿Por qué vamos a utilizar aquí how much? It's a, it's a more pie, pra, pies. Pies. Uh -huh. Pieces, right? Pieces. Pieces. Okay. pieces. You don't know how many pieces, right? So that's why. How much? And no sabemos que tantas piezas son, Rodrigo. Por lo tanto, aquí sería how much. Mm. Cuando ya sabemos, sí. Ah, mm -hmm. sí. Eh, si tú ves 10 piezas ahí en la mesa, how many pieces do, do I'm going to use? Ahí sí, pero en este caso no sabemos cuántas piezas, right? Okay, thank you, Rodrigo. Okay. Okay, number two, uh, let me see, number two, okay, 
Uh, Enrique, ready? Enrique Martinez, number two. How much or how many? How much? How much? How much do this book cost? Yeah, really good. Thank you. This is gonna be how much. Thank you so much. Okay, number three, uh, Jose Angel. Jose Angel Martinez, number three. Uh -huh. How much or how many? How much? How much? Okay, yeah, really good. How much, right? Because we are talking about battery life. Battery life. Okay, really good. Number four. Let's see number four. Uh, let me see, Gabriela. How many? How many? Yeah, really good. Because we can count the hours during the day. Podemos contar las horas durante el día. Más si es una carga, uh, we know already that it could be eight hours per day. Mm -hmm. Lo más que se puede cargar, cargar un algo es ocho horas. Muy bien, really good. Number five, William. Number five. Teacher, teacher, excuse me. Yeah, yeah. In, in the question number three, repeat, yeah. please. Yeah. Okay. Number three. Yes. How, how many or how much? How much? How much? How? Yeah, because we are talking about battery life. Estamos hablando de la de la duración de la batería. Entonces, algo okay. Muy bien. Really good. Okay, number five, William. Let's see. How, how much money do you have? Yeah, yeah, really good. How much, right? Because we are talking about money. Thank you, sir. Really good. Okay, number six. Uh, let me see, Jorge. Jorge, number six. How long of water do you need? Okay. Can you repeat it again, please? How many gallons? Yeah, gallons. gallons. Does this need? Okay, yeah. Gallon. Yeah, really good. Thank you, Jorge. That's right. Excellent. Eso está muy bien. How, how many, right? Why how many? Estamos hablando de water, pero acá estamos midiéndolo por gallons. Galones. 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 Very good. Y ahí sí podemos contabilizar. Yes. Yes. Okay. Really good. Okay, students. I don't know if everything is clear or you got a questions about this. Questions? No questions. No questions. No questions. Okay. Okay. No question. We got an important part in our class. If you have to write a comment or a sentence or questions in the discussion box. Si ustedes ven, ya el video de ayer está subido ahí, por si quieren regresarlo, salieron muy guapos, beautiful, handsome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ok, that's good. Entonces acá chicos, eh, hay una parte que es la discussion box. Lo podemos ver acá donde dice add post. Ok, vamos a ir a la platform para que puedan verlo. Ok, acá. Acá tenemos la plataforma, acá. In this case, students, uh, you have to add a sentence or a comment, whatever you want. Y tenemos acá un, eh, donde dice add post. ¿Sí? Agregar un comentario o un post, right? Les va a aparecer esto. Si ustedes van a hacer una questions, seleccionan questions. Y es una discussions, discussion, right? You have to have a title, right? For example, eh, yo quiero escribir acerca de las cosas no contables. Pongo el título, que es de eso. Y mi idea, right? My idea. For example, we use uncountable nouns when we talk about things we cannot count. Example, sure. Sure. Y le damos submit, right? And then you can see the, uh, my post here, right? Ustedes pueden ver el post que puse acá. 
y luego ustedes pueden entrar a la plataforma. Obviamente, cuando hagan la tarea, tienen que entrar al post, ¿sí? Escribir acerca del tema que hemos visto. Cualquier cosa, una oración, una pregunta, para que haya interacción, right ¿Estamos de acuerdo? Are you agree? Yes, teacher. Yeah, really yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes, teacher. Really, really nice. Okay, students. Uh, we're going to continue with this. And Gabriela, Mary, please turn on your webcam. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to continue with this. And aquí aparecemos sumamente hermosos, chicos. Pero vamos a continuar con la clase de ahora. Okay, continue with this. Okay, <laughs> we're going to see the use of must and have to. But now we're going to focus on have to, right? Must. Yeah, must. Have to. Must. What does it mean, must, for you? Debe. Debería, no se debe. Solo debe, solo debe. Yeah, right? Debe, debe. Must. Should ya sería debería. Deber obligación. Sí. Yeah, yeah, really good. Como una obligation, right? For example. Must be. Yeah, yeah. Give me an example, Carlos. Must be white. Okay. 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 Really good. Okay. Really okay. In this case, a student must is debe in Spanish. Debe, right? Debe. Entonces, en este caso, eh, the speaker thinks it is necessary. Algo que el, que el que está hablando siente que es necesario. Es una personal opinion. Eh, basically, it will be an instruction. Básicamente va a ser una instrucción. For example, Carlos Herrera, you must be on time. Right? Es right. Una instrucción, pero es mentira porque Carlos siempre está a tiempo. <laughs> ok, that's good. Ok, entonces, tú debes estar a tiempo a la clase. Es un ejemplo, right? Es una opinión nada más. Pero si yo uso have to, ¿a qué me estoy refiriendo? Sí o sí. Yeah, really good. It's an obligation, right? Ok, but we're going to start with the meaning. What does it mean have to? Have to. What does it mean? Tiene que. Tiene que. Yeah, really nice. Tiene que. Si ustedes ven este to después del have, significa tener que hacer cualquier cosa que va a ir precedida a la oración. Si no ven el to, solo es, ah, yo tengo, eh, yo tengo un chuchito, I have a dog. Eh, no, no es una obligación, ¿verdad? Pero tengo que alimentarlo, sí es una obligación. I have to feed the dog. Yep. Ok, entonces vamos por ahí. Eh, we're going to use have to for obligations. Vamos a utilizar have to para una obligación. Muy bien. Not for opinions. Cuando mamá o papá or your wife or your husband le dicen, mire, no va a salir. You don't have to go, you know, outside. Uno no sale, right? Porque es una obligación, no una opinión. Ok, really nice. Era un ejemplo nada más. Espero no traiga recuerdos. <laughs> ok, here we go. Uh, the teacher is giving the students an obligation, right? Or instructions. Let's see an example. Veamos el ejemplo, chicos. Teacher and students. Ok, veamos qué dice el teacher. Uh, Marvin, can you read it, please? What did teacher say? Uh, teacher, you must complete the essays by Friday. Okay, really good. ¿Qué, qué dice acá Marvin in Spanish? Sería, tú debes completar essay, no sé qué es. ¿El ensayo? Tú debes completar el ensayo para el viernes. Yeah, really good. Entonces, acá es una obligación o sugerencia. Sería eh, una sugerencia. Yeah, yeah, really nice. Because we use must. Es una sugerencia. But now let's see have with an obligation. Okay, what the student said. Carlos Mejía, can you help me to read it, please? Uh, 
what the students said? Okay, teacher. We have to complete the essay by Friday. Okay, yeah, really good. What does it mean in Spanish? Perdón, excuse me. Yeah, that's really nice. What does it mean in Spanish? Ah, tenemos que completar el ensayo para el viernes. Okay, how do you feel it? Is an obligation or an opinion? Uh, opinion. Opinion? Are you sure? You have to it. No, no. It's obligation. Yeah, it's an obligation. It's an obligation. Veamos. Teacher. Yeah, yeah. Teacher. Yes. Eh, no, eh, ¿Cómo puedo, me perdí, ese, cómo puedo hacer de la diferenciación entre, en, entre esas dos? O sea, porque prácticamente siento que son como una obligación, ¿no? O yo me he perdido. Ok, muy bien, Carlos Mejía. Eh, estamos con must y have to. Must, en este caso, es tú debes. Tú debes es como una opinión o una instrucción ahí. Eh, for, for example, you must complete. Tú debes completar. No se siente como una obligación, ¿verdad? Right? Pero si su mamá o el profe le dice, you have to complete, tú tienes que completar el ensayo para el viernes, es sí o sí, right? Ah, oh, ok. Entonces, o sea que podríamos yeah. tomar de referencia la persona, de, de dónde venga la instrucción, no sé. Yeah, 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 sure. Eh, siempre, eh, obviamente, quien nos va a sugerir es nuestro jefe, es el teacher, es nuestra mamá, es nuestra... Okay. Cosa, eh, y ahí. Entonces, obviamente es una obligación. ¿sí? Have to se usa para una obligation. ¿Sí? Yes? Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Ok, students, eh, in this case is an obligation, right? Ok, let's see this. We're going to run quickly because of the time. Vamos a ir más rapidito por el tiempo. Así que, let's see this. Eh, ya sabemos que have to es para qué? Para una sugerencia. Una obligación. Obligación. Obligation, really good. Obligations. Tú tienes que. For example, eh, en un. Uh, when I work for another, for another company, right? Me dijeron, tú tienes que cortarte ahí el cabello. Y chuch, chuch, lo andaba más grande, right? Entonces era una sugerencia o una obligation. You have to. Could you hear? Obligation. Yeah, obligation. obligation. Y el otro día me vieron muy así, ya sin cabello. Okay, that's good. Amazing. Okay, student, let's see. We get the positive, negative forms. Tenemos la forma positiva y la negativa, right? Ojo acá. Eh, antes de entrar a eso, quiero ver algo sumamente relevante. Tenemos have to, que significa tengo que. Y has to, ¿qué significa? Lo mismo. Tienes que. Okay, ok, ya lo mismo, pero ¿cuál es la diferencia? ¿Cuándo uso have to en has to? Cuando está hablando de... Terceras personas. Yeah, yeah. Really nice. Yeah. Cuando hablamos de third person, we're going to use has to. ¿Cuáles son las third person? He, she, it. Ok, he, she, it. Son las terceras personas. Cuando hablamos de terceros o externos. Muy bien. Eh, ahí vamos a utilizar has to. Ok. Y el resto vamos a utilizar have to. Right? Si hablamos de algo positivo, si hablamos de algo negativo, sería... Don't. Vamos a agregar don't. Right? Don't have to. Y si hablamos de algo negativo con terceras personas es doesn't. 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 Tú. Uh, you notice a difference? Y el auxiliar cambia. Ok, el auxiliar cambia. Don't and doesn't. Ustedes notan acá eh, ponemos don't para negar en esto, pero en terceras personas cuando negamos con das have, have to en lugar de has to ¿por qué pasa eso? porque esta regla ha omitido el uso de este has y es doesn't 
¿Se comprende? Yeah. Yeah. Got it, teacher. I got it. Okay, you got it, right? Yeah, really good. Nice, amazing. Okay, uh, let's see. If you want to, you know, to build a question or make a question, what you're going to do? You have to add a, an auxiliary, right? An auxiliary, do or does. Esto es similar a lo anterior. Das es para las third person, para las terceras personas, das. Y do para el resto. Muy bien. En este caso ponemos este auxiliar antes de los pronombres. Y acá está después. Ok, veamos acá primero las, los ejemplos. Muy bien. Eh, let's see. Eh, I'm going to say something in Spanish, in a name, and you have to translate it into English. Voy a decir algo en español, voy a seleccionar el nombre y esa persona me lo va a decir en inglés. Ok, here we go. Uh, let me see. Okay. Carlos Mejía es muy suertudo, ya que es el nuevo, así que vamos a, a aprovechar. Muy bien, Carlos. <ríe> ok, Carlos, eh, ¿cómo usted diría? Eh, eh, ella tiene que ir a la escuela todos los días. Ella tiene que ir a la escuela todos los días. She, she has to go to the school tomorrow. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. hasta school, hasta, hasta school, estamos bien. Let's go up for the school. Todos los días, todos los días. Every day. Every day. She has to go to the school. Yeah. Okay. Every day. Every day, but it's every day. Yeah, yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, Carlos. Really good. Amazing. Okay, veamos ahí. Eh, vamos a continuar con Carlos Alfonso. <laughs> Así que... Eh, <laughs> okay. Okay, ¿cómo me diría usted, Carlos Alfonso? Él, veamos, él tiene que ir a la escuela los fines de semana. Fines de semana se dice week, uh, weekend. Weekend. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he has has to go to school weekend the weekend on weekends on weekends on weekends excuse excuse me on weekends on weekend on weekends yes really good okay really nice amazing okay students eh, cómo suena eso suena como una sugerencia o una obligation Obligation. 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 Okay, really good. okay, students, when you want to make a questions, you have to put the auxiliary verb at the beginning. Okay, for example, tenemos acá, eh, do you have to go to school tomorrow? Do you have to go to school tomorrow? ¿Qué diría esa pregunta? Tienes que ir a la escuela mañana. Okay, really good. Tienes que ir a la escuela mañana. Si se escucha así, sí tengo que ir, pero no quiero, right? Ok, cuando estamos ahí en la, yendo a la escuela. Muy bien. Amazing. Ok, students, this is a piece of cake for you. Esto creo que está sumamente fácil. Ya se lo podía. I think you already know it. Así que, I don't know if you have a question about this. Questions? No questions? No question. Okay, really good, amazing, amazing students. Eh, yo tengo una pregunta. Eh, cuando utilizamos el, 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 el do, el does y el have to, eh, yeah. ¿va a ir conjugado el verbo o va a ir presente? Ok, ok, really good. Eh, ok, cuando negamos. Uh -huh. ah. Eh, en este caso va a ir conjugado al verbo. Si nosotros estamos hablando de, si usted ve que el verbo es have, obviamente tenemos que estar utilizando primeras y segundas Persona. personas. Okay. Uh -huh. Pero si es has, obviamente es third person, right? Así que por obligación vamos a, a, de acuerdo a esto, vamos a utilizar el auxiliar doesn't. Así que es la persona que está esto. Obviamente acá pasa a ser infinitivo normal porque doesn't omite la regla de utilizar has. 
no mm. se puede utilizar dos veces. ¿Sí? Ok. Ok, está claro, Wendy, it's clear. Yes. Yeah, like a Coca-Cola, right? <laughs> no, water. <laughs> ok, ok, <laughs> like a water. Ok, eh, another questions? No. No questions, ok, really good, continue with this. Ok, students, uh, we're going to find the short answer. Eh, esto me dice casi siempre. Cuando somebody asks you with do or does, tiene que contestar con lo mismo para no complicarse. Estas son short answers, right? Estas son respuestas cortas. Por ejemplo, eh, si alguien me pregunta acerca de ella, does she, does she has to go to school tomorrow? Le tengo que contestar with does or do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can see the I can see the picture. Ah, you cannot see the picture? Yeah, teacher. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Yes, yes. Okay, we're gonna Okay, right now you can see? Good, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, really good. Okay, student short answer. No se compliquen con las respuestas cortas, es muy genial para ir empezando. Si le preguntan con do, respondan con do. Si le preguntan con das, respondan con das. ¿Cómo así? Por ejemplo, does she has to go to school tomorrow? Yes, she does, right? Si es eh, positiva, si es negativa, no, she doesn't. Doesn't, ok. That's short answer. Do, does, don't, and doesn't. Creo que esto sí ya lo han visto anteriormente. Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. Okay. Uh, we're going to continue with this. Questions? No questions? No question. Okay. Very nice. Okay, students, let's practice together. Tenemos unos ejercicios ahí muy maravillosos. I really like it. Le puede ayudar con el, con el uh, video. En este caso vamos a decidir si vamos a utilizar have to or has to. Uno es para las third person y el otro para el resto. Muy bien. Le voy a ayudar con el primero. Dice Lisa has to make a cake. Has to make a cake. ¿Qué tiene que hacer Lisa? Un pastel. Un pastel, muy bien. Es una obligation, right? Entonces, en este caso, ¿por qué utilizamos has to? Porque es ella, es una tercera persona. Yeah, really good, amazing. Ok, eh, vamos a hacer acá unos ejercicios, así que vamos a ir preguntando ahí según las caritas, cómo se vean de feliz, right? Así que vamos a iniciar con Marlon Garnet. Marlon, we're going to start with you, right? Tom. ¿Cuál va a utilizar? To or has to? Tom, have to. Has to. Have, have. Have, have. Are you sure? We have Tom. ¿Qué es Tom? Es he. Yeah, it's like a hill. Yeah, hill, yeah. Entonces, ¿cuál sería? Has to. Has to. Yeah, has to. Yeah. Has to. Like this, right? Solo por eso lea toda la oración. Okay. Tom has to wash the car. Yeah, really good. Has to wash the car. Es una obligación. Quizás trabaja en un car wash, right? Yeah, really good. Okay, veamos ahí. Um, let me see. Okay. Uh, hmm, Gabriela. <laughs> Gabriela, I'm sorry. Uh, what about this one? Um, how to. Have to. Lisa, like I can read? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Lisa and Tom have to do the homework. Have to do the homework. Yeah, really good. Why are we going to use have to instead of has to? It's a day. Okay, yeah. It's Lisa like a, and Tom. Lisa and Tom. Two person. It's like a day. Yeah. Congratulations. Okay, Fabricio, that's your turn. Tom 
has to walk the dog. Yeah, very good. Nice. Amazing. Has to write piano. Okay. Okay. Um, let me see. Martin Ernesto. Lisa, es tercera persona sería has to. Yeah, like this, right? Yeah, read it, please. Uh, Lisa has to study history. Yeah, thank you, sir. Really good. Okay, uh, continue with this. Miguel Angel. Okay, Miguel Ángel, turn on the microphone, please. Don, Don has to study history. Okay, yeah, like this, right? Yes. Yes, really good. Thank you, Miguel. And Miguel Ángel Alexander, right? Three names. Yeah. His nombres, yeah. su padre lo amaba mucho. That's amazing. Okay, yeah. really good. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me see Enrique Martinez. This one. Lisa and Tom have to sit the table. Yeah, really good. Set the table, right? Have to. It's plural. So Lisa and Tom is like a day. Amazing. Thank you, Enrique. Okay, veamos ahí William Alexander. This one. Okay. Lisa. Cup. 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 Has to? Yeah, yeah, really good, like this. This has to cut the grass. Yeah, thank you, William, really good. Okay, amazing, Jorge Alberto. Lisa has to wash the car. Okay, very nice, sir. Thank you, Carlos Alfonso. Tom has to cut the grass. Okay, thank you, sir, Carlos. Okay. <laughs> okay, Carlos René, yeah. Hola, hola. Yeah, this one. Tom has to make a cake. Okay, really good. Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, Rodrigo. Tom has to tidy, tidy. Okay, okay, yeah. The bedroom. Bedroom, really good. And the last one, Jose Angel, the last one. Okay, turn on the microphone, please, Jose Angel Santos. Uh, Lisa has to make a cake. Okay, thank you, sir. Really good. Okay, students, basically, uh, we can use has to and have to in order to, you know, give a obligation of something, right? Just una obligación de algo. Muy bien, really good. Let's continue with this. Now we're going to work in groups. Así que, okay, give me a minute. I'm going to give the instructions of this. Okay, we're going to work in group, the students. So what you're going to do here? you have to please make a list of things that you have to do uh, that you have to do at your workplace at least you have to write 10 can be positive or negative que van a hacer chicos van a hacer una lista de cosas que ustedes tienen que hacer en su trabajo por ejemplo si les toca barrer i have to broom i have to watch lo que sea que laven and so on, right? Yes, cosas. Pueden ser positivas o negativas. Cinco positivas y cinco negative, right? Tienen que hacer una lista. Luego de hacer la lista, eh, ok, we got an example. ¿Qué es lo que se va a hacer? Ok, in this case, students, let's see. Ok, 
we get the question, right? What do you have to do at your workplace? Esta es una pregunta sumamente easy, right, and common. ¿Qué significa this question? What does it mean in Spanish? ¿Qué tienes que hacer en tu lugar de trabajo? Ok, ok, muy bien. What do you have to do at your workplace? In my case, Carlos Herrera, can you ask me these questions? What do you have to do at your workplace? Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, as an example, right? I have to be early every day in my English class. Esta es una obligación. Tengo que estar early, right? Tempranísimo. Todos los días en la clase de inglés. Uh, así como este ejemplo, van a escribir 10. It could be positive or negative. Van a pre, con esta pregunta eh, le van a hacer la consulta a sus compañeros y él tiene que decirle las 10 eh, things that he or she has to do at your workplace. Everything is clear? Yes. Yeah. Okay, students. Um, okay, here we go. We're going to make groups and work together, please. Okay, go ahead. Practice each other. Don't be shy. You can do it, right? Go ahead. Okay, Wendy. Okay. Ahí está. Okay, okay, hello. Yeah, pero tenía apagado el audio. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, Wendy, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Tienen mm -hmm. que hacer 10 cosas, 10 things mm -hmm. that you have to do at your workplace. Una lista de 10 cosas que usted tiene que hacer en su lugar de trabajo. For example, in my workplace, I have to be early every day in my English class. Esa es una. Tenemos uh -huh. que días. Muy bien, así que eh, acepte la invitación para unirse al grupo número uno. Iría con Carlos René y Marvin Ernesto. Ah, oh, ok. okay. Ahorita. Ok, ya. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay. <clears throat> Siempre utilizando el 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 have. El sería el. Have. el, el has to y el have, have ¿verdad? Pero como, pero como está hablando de usted, sería have to. Have to, yes. Ya, ya, lo entendí. Uh -huh. Ok. Okay. Okay, are you working on the list that you have to do? Yep. I'm working. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, la pregunta para la, la, la oración negativa. What done? Okay, uh, in this case, uh, you can ask with the same question, right? Oh, what okay. do you have to do at your workplace? Okay, thanks. But if you want to use what do, what do not, in this case, what do you have to do at your workplace? Uh, it's going to be the same, but you have to make a list of 10 
you can mix, right? Positive mm -hmm. or negative. Okay. Okay, very good. I'll be back in a minute. Work on this. Con el trabajo tiene que ser lo que que haga que sea positivo que hay que hacer en el trabajo y cinco cosas negativas. Algo positivo, tomar café todos los días. No mentira. Podemos a poner el café. That could be negative. I have to take a break. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have the power. Uh -huh. I have to take a break. Okay, okay, very good, students. Okay, continue work on the list of the things that you have and you don't have to do, right? Then you have to ask the question each other. Luego se pregunta eh, acerca de eso cada uno en el chat. I wrote this the question, right? Ya escribí la, 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 la pregunta en el chat por si se les olvida. What do you have to do at your workplace? Yep. Okay. Thank okay, you. very good. Continue working. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. Are you angry? Yes, we are here. <laughs> Okay. okay, that's good. Solo estamos anotando las, uh, las cosas para que yo solo digamos todo. Yeah, really good. That's amazing. Taking notes. On the chat, you're going to find the question, right? What do you have to do at your workplace? En el chat les escribí las questions. Por si se les olvida. Teacher. Yeah, yeah. Este, cotizaciones, ¿cómo se, se dice en inglés? Uh, you can say budget, 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 yep. okay, okay, really good. Hey, in the chat, I wrote, cotization budget. Okay, yeah, really good questions. No questions? Creo que ya tengo, ahorita tengo cinco, pero, bueno, son cinco, cinco oraciones tengo, digamos. Okay, you have to work in ten, right? You have to mix positive and negative. Positivas y negativas. Ah. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, students, congratulations. I'll be back in a minute. Regreso en un minuto, así que continue working. I have to respect my partner. Okay. Okay, hello, students. Hello. Hi. Hi, teacher. Are you working in the list? Yes. Okay. Okay, you, you got a questions? No questions? No. No, for the moment. No, for the moment, right? Okay, really good. Okay, continue working on the list that the things that you have and you don't have to do. And then you have to ask the question, what do you do at your workplace, right? Uh, on the chat, I wrote the questions. Escribí la, la, la pregunta en el chat, así que ahí pueden verla, por si se les olvida. Okay, very good. Continue work on the list. I'll be back in a minute, right? Right. En un minuto. Muy bien, really, really good. Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? <laughs> okay, Carlos, what do you have to do at your workplace? I'm, 
Ahí en Customer Service, Sales Credit Card, Sales Loan, eh, y Reports eh, Today, okay. o okay. Every Day. Carlos, Carlos you, you have to add, I'm sorry, you have to add, uh, I have to sell credit card, I have to... Um, you know, to do whatever you have to do. Tiene que agregar have to. Ah, okay. Okay, go ahead. Continue. I have to report, report este, every day. Okay. I have, uh, I have to calls for clients. Okay. Oh. I have to uh, sell credit card. Okay, okay. I yeah. have to sell. Yep. I have to sell a loan. Okay. Loan person. Okay. Only. Uh, that, that, <laughs> okay, really good. Okay, now ask the question to Jorge Alberto. Okay, Jorge, what do you have to do at your workplace? I I have to drink coffee every morning. <laughs> okay, <laughs> really good. That's a nice obligation. The first <laughs> obligation is neces necessary. Yeah. <laughs> I have to send debit card. I have to refund money. Okay. I have to meeting every Monday. Really good. I have to do a statistic. Yeah. I have to write email. I have to attend a client. Yep. I have to test in the system. I have to take lunch. Pretty good. I have to break my teeth. Okay, really nice, amazing, Jorge. In Carlos Alfonso, really good. Okay, guys, um, you have to continue practice each other. Now you can switch and you, you have to talk about the negative, right? I don't have to drink coffee in my workplace, for example, right? This is an example. And so you can talk about negative things. Así que continúen practicando y me regreso en un instante. Okay. Okay, amazing. Congratulations. Ah, sí, siempre la así, de un solo. Está buena la idea, está buena la idea. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. You practice already? Very good. ¿Ya practicado? Eh, es que la estábamos haciendo y después okay. íbamos a, a, no, a interactuar. Right. Okay, very good, nice. But you finish? Ya terminado? No. La lista. No, falta, teacher. Okay, falta. okay, very good. Questions? You got a question? Eh, teacher, yeah. está bien que use I have to check your email. Yeah, yeah, I have to check my mail. My or... or ah, or, my, my yeah. mail. O el de alguien más tiene que chequear. Ah, uh, no, my, my, my. Oh, ok, that's good. It's me. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Ok, more questions? No, no, teacher. Ok, very good. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. Ok, students, when you finish, uh, you have to practice each other, right? Tienen que practicar eh, ambos. Eh, okay. En el chat les dejé las questions para que ustedes puedan hacer la pregunta. What do you have to do at your workplace? Yep. Okay, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, practice each other. I'll be back in a minute. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Did you finish? You write the list. Yeah. Carlos, no, creo que eh, no. Solo, solo me faltan las, las mm -hmm. demos la negativa, las que no me gustan, pero no, no, no hay. Que no tiene que ser. Ok, sí, okay. Solo... Carlos. Ajá. Como, por ejemplo. 
Uh, bueno, en mi trabajo lo que no me gusta es dejar trabajo pendiente, por decirle algo. Ok, muy bien. Eh, pero ahí es que no le gusta y algo que no tiene que hacer es... Ah, no tengo que hacer es ah. eh, dejar material eh, desordenado. Ok, entonces sería... Ah, hay todo... Sí, I don't hay, Uh, you work in an office? Trabaja en una oficina o un warehouse? O en bodega? En bodega. En bodega, ok, ok. Entonces sería, uh, I don't have to, no tengo que, disorganize stuff, o things, o, lo, o los productos. Usted le pone el nombre a los productos que maneja. Yep. Disorganized. Disorganized. Okay. Yeah, really good. Uh, 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 teacher, sería, I don't have to leave Miss material. Así. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Me, me, yeah. Sí, yeah. estaría bien, sí. Yeah, really good. It's okay. Estamos bien. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay you're welcome. Okay. Okay, Carlos. Uh, you finished, right? Yeah. Sí, yes. Just, yeah, just, right. uh, okay, ahora, pra ahora practiquen ahí and practice each other with Gabriela. Okay. Um, Carlos, what do you what do you have to do at your workplace? Okay. Excuse me. Um I do, I do you have job report? Tengo que hacer reportes. I have to. Have to. Yeah, I have to. I have to. Job report. Okay, okay. En este caso, Carlos, como está hablando de las cosas que usted tiene que hacer es, I have to do uh, do uh, or make a report. Ahí, hasta ahí. Uh, ah, okay. Okay, okay, very good. Continue, Carlos. Um, I have to repair the... Está bien, teacher? Yeah, yeah, I have to repair. Repair the um, refrigeration machines. Okay, okay, really good. Um, what else? I, I, I have to, I have to check I, the air conditioner. Yeah, really good. I'm, I have, I have to check electric part or machine. Uh, repar, uh, tengo que revisar las, en las partes eléctricas de bueno, una maquinaria X. Okay, okay. Entonces sería, I have to. I have to check electric. Electric part. Electric part. Okay, yeah, electrical part. On my part. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, really good. Okay, yeah. that's good. Excuse me, no, no escucho. Okay, okay, that's it. Uh, that's it. Ahora, Carlos, pregúntele a Gabriela. Ah, thank you. Ahorita. What do you do in your workplace? Okay. I have to do the payroll. Um, I don't have to pay the payroll. Okay, really good. <laughs> I have to, I don't have to do the technical report. Yeah. I have to do financial report. Really good. I don't have to prepare the coffee. Good. I have to do checks. Really good. I don't have to sign the checks. Nice. <laughs> I have to check the budget. Really good. And I don't have to call the client. 
Okay, nice. Congratulations. Really good, Gabriela, because you are an accountant, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Really good. Okay, amazing students. Um, if you want, you can continue practice each other. Eh, tengo que revisar los otros grupos, así que continúen practicando. Pueden, ir, pueden eh, incluir. You can include some other things that you have to do. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. Um, así sería, I don't have to work. No hablar, yo no tengo que hablar mucho. Okay, okay very nice. Carlos René. Uh -huh. I don't have to talk. I don't have to talk, eh, ¿verdad? No walk, oh, no. walk es caminar. No. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. No, problem. no problem, it's okay. <laughs> to talk, talk, talk. Talk, es cierto. Yeah, to talk too much, too much. Okay. I have too, too much. Yeah, yeah. Sí, verdad. Yeah, like this. Really good. Too much. La otra era... I don't eat, but I uh -huh. don't... I have to eat too much. Okay. Too much, okay. Okay, that's good. Es válido. Yeah, es válido. Really good. ¿Cuál era la otra? La otra era eh, no decir malas palabras. No tengo que decir malas ¿Cómo palabras. ¿Cómo se dice malas palabras, Ticha? Bad words. Ah, pues sí, bad, bad words. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, really good. Okay, students, continue practice. I'm gonna go to another group. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Partnership. Partnership with the babola. Yep. La 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 comunicación. With my with my partner. Uh -huh. Yes. Que te falló el internet un ratito, no sé. Dice con se frició. ¿En cuál? ¿En cuál me quedé? En el, en el, o sea, solo ese pedacito de cuando estabas hablando en The Partner y de ahí ya no se escuchó nada. ¿no? Ah, 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 el... Ok, ok. Dije, dije, se, se me escucha bien. Ya, ya, sí. dale. Sí. Dale, dale. Tenemos un camino. Ahora sí me escucha bien. Ya, yeah. yeah. Uh, era with my partner we have to change an automatic transmission okay. I have to clean my tools day and I have to be carefully okay really good really good congratulations continue practice each other right I'm gonna go to another group thank you so much and congratulations students thanks teacher okay continue practice right de, de, de. Sí, cabal, hay un recuadro donde podemos escribir y, 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 y subirlas también, ¿verdad? Sí, es correcto. Teacher. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have a question. Yeah, tell me. Uh, 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 todo lo que estamos haciendo ahorita lo vamos a escribir en el foro de discusión. No, 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 solo tienen que practicarlo. You have to practice each other, right? Ah, ok. Una vez que hayan terminado la lista, yo le pregunto, for example, a Enrique, Enrique, what do you have to do at your workplace? Y Enrique comienza a decirme, mire, teacher, I have to, um, I don't know, to clean my work area. Tengo que limpiar mi área de trabajo y en otras muchas otras cosas que ustedes hacen, right? In English. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Practice each other. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. uh, in my workplace, I have to sing four times every day. Okay. Uh, I have to get to go early. Yeah. Uh, I have to wear uniform. Okay. 
I don't have drink beers in office. Yeah. I don't have use inappropriate language. Really good. Uh, it's all for a moment. Okay, I remember. Moment. Ok, really good. Ok, Enrique. Eh, Miguel Ángel, pregúntele a Enrique eh, the question, right? Ahí en el chat la pueden encontrar, la question. Ok. Eh, Enrique. Well, ok, what do you have to do at the workplace? What, what do you have to do in a workplace? Yeah, really good. Enrique, what do you have to do in a workplace? Okay. I have to uh, I have to clean my ta my my table. Yeah. I have I have to early every day. Yeah. I have to missing every Monday. Yeah, really good. I uh, I have to see my emails every day. Yes. Mm. No más, no, solo eso tengo ahorita como me vida. Ok, Pero... that's, good. that's good. No problem, Enrique. Este, ok, uh, student, you can continue practice each other. Pueden preguntarle a José Ángel. And I'll be back in a minute. Congratulations. Continue practice. You're going to have five minutes more. Ok, thank you. David uh, yeah. I had to refund money. I had to meeting every Monday. I had to do uh, statistics. I had to write email. I had to attend attend the client. I had to test in the system. I had to take lunch. Este, usted le pone y, 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 le, y le, le da la pronunciación. Ok, ok. <laughs> ok, excelente. Did you practice already? Yes. Yes, Tatiana. Yes. Ok, ok. I'm going to ask you again. Tatiana, what do you have to do at your workplace? I have to present the, bal the balance monthly. Okay. I have to update information yeah. i have to check my email yeah. i have to turn on my computer yes i have to achieve document every day really good i have to send emails i have to give information to customer yeah i have to launch at 12 o'clock. I have to be early every day. Okay, I have okay. to answer the phone. Okay, really good. Thank you. Uh, Tatiana, really good. Okay, Marlon, Ernesto, what do you have to do at your workplace? Okay, teacher. Um, no sé cómo se pronuncia esto, teacher, pero I, ahorita I, le digo. Yeah. I have to Put out with my boss. Okay. Tengo que aguantar a mi jefe. ¿Cómo, cómo es eso? Okay, okay. Okay, uh, it is like this, as you said, right? Así como lo dijo, está nice. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I have to work from home. Yeah. I have to clean my desk every day. Yeah. Y tengo una pregunta, teacher. Yeah. Cuando right. uno dice, tengo... Que salir, te, te salir tarde. Uh, ok, ok. I have to be late from my work. Ah, oh, ok. Ok. I have to, I have to have... Ah, aquí está, aquí está una pregunta. Yeah. ¿Cómo sería? Es, eh, ¿Tengo que tomar mi desayuno sin que nadie me vea? <laughs> <laughs> ok, ok, really nice. Ahí, uh, you can say I have to take my lunch or dinner, I don't know, the breakfast without anyone. Mm, anyone. Anyone, yeah, wow. without anyone. Ah, okay, porque el, tra el traductor me puso otra cosa, el, tra el traductor me puso I have to have breakfast with Ben Singh, algo así. 
Okay, okay, ajá. Eh, without bueno, the same, right? Yeah, it would be like that. Eh, pero but, está mejor así como usted me lo dice. Yeah, yeah. Está más fácil. Eh, yeah, es, a eso quiero llegar. Eh, recuérdense que el English eh, vamos a tomarlo con las cosas que ya nosotros manejamos para no complicarnos con las estructuras más avanzadas, right? Pero okay. está muy bien las dos formas. Ready, Gil. Ok, continue. I have to take the bus. Yeah. I have to ask where the phone. Ok, really good. Okay. Finish, I did. Ok, finish. Ok, students, congratulations. You did it really good. Uh, continue practice each other. Uh, you're going to have one minute more. Así que uh, uh, hablen de, también de algunas otras obligaciones que se les hayan olvidado. Ok, continue. Okay. Did it nice. Congratulations. Okay. Okay, hello Jorge. Did you practice? Yeah, sure, right? <laughs> okay, Jorge, that's good. Veo que se divirtieron mucho ahí, you know, to practice English. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's amazing. In that way, you're going to improve, you know, really, really fast. That's good. Okay. And wh where do you work? I work in the banks. Ah, BFA. okay, that's good. BFA. Yes. Okay, really good. Amazing bank, right? It got a lot of opportunity for the people who, you know, work on the field. Nice, amazing. Yes. Okay, that's good, Jorge. Okay, students, everybody finish, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Okay, amazing. Eh, escuché algunos de ustedes, algunos hablaban cosas muy geniales y otras cosas más geniales todavía. Okay, for example, you have to drink coffee before to work. That's good. <laughs> And something else, right? Okay, but unfortunately, you know, time, you know, it's running quickly. So we're going to continue with today's class. Así que veamos acá the slide presentation, right? Okay, we work on this. And now we have, um, let me see, a short dialogue between two persons. It will be Aaron and Sam, right? Okay, let's see this. We're gonna practice. Okay, give me a minute, uh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna practice this, students, uh, this conversation together, right? I don't know, somebody who wants to practice this, raise your hands, you can do it, don't be shy. Hello, Fabricio Jr. <laughs> okay, that's Yes, good. my son. <laughs> okay, that's good. It, it looks like you, right? <laughs> okay, amazing. Okay, veamos ahí, who wants to practice these conversations? I need a volunteer. Democraticamente, teacher. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Veo que no, no, no le gusta ahí. I, I. Okay, okay, Wendy, Wendy, somebody else? Me, teacher. Okay, Wendy and Fabricio. Okay, Fabricio will be Aaron and Wendy will be Sam. Okay. 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 Go ahead. Okay. The new material just arrived in the morning. Yeah. Tell Max that he has to store everything. Yeah. Where where does he have to store the box? He and Ivan 
have to store 10 in the warehouse. Okay. Okay, but there are many boxes they use the life, the leaf. Leaf, yeah. The leaf. The leaf. They have to use the leaf, but us on the toe and the secretary first. <laughs> he is going to they can use it then I am going to the max and even what they have to do okay, okay really good okay thank you really nice Fabricio and Wendy really good work thanks teacher okay you're welcome okay let's see here uh, this you can say just just. Just. Yes. Yeah. And this one, all right. All right. All right. Yeah, really good. Let's see. Llegará en la mañana. Yeah, yeah. Yes, all right. In the morning. Este es el nuevo material. Yep. El nuevo material. Llegará en la mañana. Llegará en la mañana. Okay, this is a Exactamente. Past. Just. Future or past? Past. Okay, past. Llegó. Llegó sería. Llegó en la mañana. Okay. okay, muy bien. Este es como acaba de llegar. Ah, en el momento. Sí, en el momento. Acaba de llegar. Hace unos minutos llegó. Es pasado porque ya llegó. Pero que justamente acaba de suceder. Right? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, entonces el nuevo material. Acaba de llegar. En la mañana. Max dice Max, que, que él tiene que almacenar todo. Almacenar todo. Ah. ¿Dónde tiene que almacenar las, las cajas? cajas? ¿Dónde tiene que almacenar las cajas? ¿Qué dice Aaron? Él Iván, Iván, tienen que almacenarlas en la bodega. Ok, yeah, really good. Okay. 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 Hay muchas. Ah, okay. Pero hay muchas no, cajas. Hay Ellos muchas pueden cajas. usar el ascensor. Ellos tienen que usar el ascensor. Yeah. Pero, pero, pero preguntar y decir pregunta. a la secretaria primero. Ok, pero tienen que preguntarle a la secretaria primero. Right? Really ¿Qué? Eh, ella. Ella tiene que. Que decirle a ellos si lo pueden Ella usar. va a decirles cómo, cómo usarlo. Ok, él les va a decir cómo pueden usarlo. Cómo, usar, ¿Cómo pueden usarlo. Really Damn. Luego vamos a decirle a Max y a Iván que, que tienen que usarlo. Que tienen, que tienen que hacer. Que tienen que hacer. Really good. Nice. Very nice. Congratulations, students. Now that you understand this conversation, we're going to practice again. I need two volunteers. Necesito dos voluntarios más. Volunteers. <laughs> bueno. Lo uno. Okay, okay, only one, yeah. That's good. Thank you, Wendy. <laughs> okay, Tatiana. Tatiana and Carlos. Okay, okay. Carlos, you will be Aaron, and Tatiana, you will be Sam. Okay, go ahead. The new material just arrived in the morning. Yeah. Tell Max that ha he has to store everything. Okay. Where does... He have, he have to store the bus. Boxes. Boxes. Okay, boxes. Boxes. Con S, con S, sin R. Boxes. Boxes. Yeah, yeah, really good. Continue, Carlos. He and even have to store them in the warehouse. Yeah. Okay, but there are many boxes. Can they use the the life? Lift. Lift. Yeah. 
They have to use the leave, but ask and tell the secretary first. Okay. She is going to say they can use it. Use it. Yeah. Then yeah. I'm going to tell Max and Iran what they have, have to do. Have to do. Really good. Amazing. Congratulations. Applause for all of this, right? Okay, students. You did it really nice, but uh, you know, we got the first step and you have to read this conversation. We read it already. And now we're gonna circle the correct answer to this uh, sentences, right? Vamos a circular la respuesta correcta a estas eh, sentences, a estas oraciones. Ok, vamos a empezar con, let me see, Miguel Ángel, Alexander, number one. You can choose if you can use has, have to or has to. Ok, go ahead. Has to. Uh, have to. Max and Ivan have to start boxes. Ok, boxes. this one, right? This one. It's correct. Yeah, thank you, sir. Really, really good. Okay, the second one. Let me see. Um, Marlon Ernesto. You have to choose if you're gonna use this one or this one. I don't, that's it, has to help. Okay, doesn't have to. Help store the boxes. Okay, really good. Uh, are you sure this one? This one, right? Yes. Okay, okay, yeah, really good. Congratulations, Marlon. Okay, continue with this, Marvin, number three. Okay, please turn on the microphone. Yo le entiendo muy bien ahí, Marvin. Ahí, pero vamos a escucharlo. <laughs> okay. Sam doesn't have to help. Help. Okay. Doesn't have to. Uh -huh. Yeah. Help. Really good. Really good. Amazing. This one, right? Because of the rule. Esta es incorrecta por la regla. Así que ni modo nos tocaría esto. Okay, amazing. And we're going to finish with Gabriela. Number four, Gabriela. Wait. Okay. And the secretary has to say the, that they can use the lift. Okay, really good. Thank you, Gabriela. This one is have to or has to? Has to. Has to. Like this? Yes. Yeah, really good. Amazing. Okay, students, as you see, uh, we're gonna use have to or the, when we are talking about the plural way, right? Max and Ivan or they. And we're gonna use has to or doesn't have to with the third person, right? Keep in mind, please. Okay, students, I don't know if you have a question about this. Questions? No questions? Everything is clear? Everything is clear. Okay, okay. Wendy, you got a question? No, no, right. Okay, really good. <laughs> okay. Okay, students. Uh, vamos a pasar lista nuevamente. Eh, Recuérdense que se va a pasar lista at the beginning y cuando ya casi estamos finalizando. Okay. Así que, eh, please pay attention to your name again. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Give me a minute. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, we got it. This. Okay. Okay, students, let's see. <clears throat> Veamos. Hi, Ernesto. Are you there? No, right? Okay. Hi, Ernesto Hernandez. No. Oh, Jose Vladimir Jiménez Escobar. Mm. 
¿no? Es lo que ok, really good. Ok, eh, veamos, vamos a mencionar solo lo que no está no se ha mantenido, así que sería eh, muy repetitivo. Veamos ahí, Fernando de Jesús, Roldán Torres. Are you there? No, Fernando está de vacation, así que voy a continuar. Carlos Antonio Mejía Hernández. Presente. Ok, ok, you're really good, Carlos. Welcome to our class. Ok, Carlos, muy bien. Me alegro de verlo en clase. Así que, por favor. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> eh, ok, continuamos. Daisy Elizabeth Recino. Daisy, all right. Ok, really good. Eh, Carlos René Herrera. Presente, dicho. Ok, Carlos, really good. Imagínense, Carlos, lo íbamos a dejar ahí sin, sin la, la lista de asistencia. Muy bien, Carlos. Really nice. Amazing for you. Great. Okay. Thank you, teacher. El, uh, the attendance list is really important, my students. You have to be in classes. This is for you. Esto es para ustedes. Enjoy it. Disfrútenlo. Practiquen. Don't be shy. You can do it. Uh, remember, the more you practice, the more you learn. Entre más practican, más vamos a aprender. Practice make perfect. La práctica hace el maestro, like me, right? <laughs> Is, you know, I, I really like to practice, right? Okay, really good. I don't know if you have a question. No questions? No question, teacher. Okay, okay, really good. Eh, afortunadamente tenemos unos minutitos, así que vamos a continuar. Siempre agrego un poquito más para que aprendamos, right? Eh, aquí lo importante es to learn, right? Okay, really good. Ok, so we're going to continue practice. Esto lo encuentran en su libro. <coughs> On the platform, you can download the PDF manual for you, right? It's number four, uh, beginner level, right? Ok, let's practice with this. Ok, okay. Uh, as I said before, we were talking about half for obligation. Have for obligations. ¿Cuándo vamos a utilizar have for obligations? Cuando encontremos to after have to. Right? Have to. Cuando vean este to después, es una obligación. Si no ven este to, no va a ser una obligación. ¿Por qué? Si ustedes dicen, eh, mire, teacher, yo tengo dos gatitos. ¿Cómo dirían eso? I have to cut. Ok, ok, really good. I have to cut. ¿Esa es una obligación? No. No, right. Eso es como algo, una experiencia, algo que ustedes quieren compartir. Pero si ustedes tienen to, es por obligación que va a llevar un verb después del have to. Entonces ahí sí se convierte en una obligation. Let's see this example. I have to store these packages, right? Tengo que store. What is a store? Mm -hmm. Almacenar, teacher. Okay, yeah, really good. Tengo que almacenar estos. Um, paquetes. 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 No sabemos de qué son. Si son paquetes de dinero o paquetes de papel bond. Así que, ok, let's continue with that. Ok, students, uh, this, we're going to find out the meaning of this. And right now, get it this, right? Eh, para una forma negativa, solo vamos a agregar don't or doesn't. Doesn't, right? Don't or doesn't. Ok, really good. Let's see the first example here. Eh, Fabricio, help me to read it, please. I don't have to store this package. Ok, really good. En este caso, Fabricio me está diciendo que no lo va a almacenar. No tengo que almacenar. No tiene que almacenarlo. Está ahí un poco rebelde, pero de modo, Fabricio no tiene que almacenarlo. <risa> es negative, right? Negative way. Ok, really good. Eh, en son, entre otras que ya hemos visto. 
Okay. In this case, students, uh, we're gonna use this. Uh, you have to complete the sentence using the correct form of have to and the words provided. Tenemos que utilizar la forma correcta del have to. Hagámoslo juntos. De todas formas, we're gonna have three minutes more. Okay, the first one, it said the company, what? The company? Have to. Have to. Have to or has to? Have. Has to. Has to. Has to. Has to, right? Have to. Bye. Bye. Yeah, the new material. Have. New have, have to buy new material. Okay, number two. The partners, the partners has to pile up container. Contain. Have to. Have to, right? Have to. This is plural. Plural. Has to. Has to. Have to. Yeah. Have to. Have to. Have to. <laughs> the agents have to. Have to. Okay, but this. Ah, don't. Los agentes. Don't. Have, have to. Have to. The agents have to. <laughs> Ah, don't don't have don't have to don't have to uh -huh. don't have to yeah. sign the letter sign the letter yeah really good sign the letter amazing really good sign the letter Mr. Bonilla has to has to has to has to sign the sign Design new model. New model. Yeah, really nice. Okay, Mr. Bonilla, singular, right? Per person. Good. Okay, what about the last one? The group don't have the, to. No. The, the group, group, uh, the group don't have work. The group don't have Don't have to. Don't, don't have to. Don't have to. Don't, don't have to. Not work. Until. Until late. Until late. Until late. Until late. Okay. Aquí estamos hablando de él. El grupo. El grupo. But in this case, is singular or plural? Plural. Singular. Plural. Singular. Singular. Plural. Okay, that's good. Eh, la <laughs> Es singular, mi grupo, es solo un grupo. Aunque tiene muchas personas, lo vamos a tomar como singular. Right? Yeah. Entonces sería the group doesn't, doesn't have, to, have to work until late. Until late. Yeah, really good. Okay, students, congratulations. We did the attendance list already. Eh, ya pasamos lista, así que no vamos a pasarla nuevamente. Eh, muchas felicidades por los que están siempre. Eh, this is for you guys. Eso es para ustedes. Así que try to enjoy it. Eh, disfrútenlo. If you got a question, you can ask me. Si tienen preguntas, pueden hacerlo cuando sean. Interrumpan al teacher. I'm going to be here for you, right? Estoy aquí para ustedes. Eh, acá todos juntos vamos a aprender. El teacher no todo el tiempo lo sabe todo, así que. Siempre aprendemos algo nuevo from you guys, right? Okay, I don't know if you have a questions. Okay. Questions? No question. Okay, really good. Everything is clear. Everything is clear, right? <laughs> Amazing. Okay, students, unfortunately, time is over. Uh, I see you tomorrow. And keep in mind, mañana tenemos la clase de refuerzo, así que a los 10, perdón, a los 6 que son seleccionados, entren los 10 minutitos que les toca para que puedan preguntar whatever you want about the classes, right? Eh, lo okay. que ustedes quieran de las clases que hemos visto, obviamente. <laughs> ok, ok, that's good. Okay. Okay.
Bye bye, take care, and see you tomorrow, right? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, bye. teacher. Bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night. You're welcome. Bye bye. Bye. bye.